custom menu G this is where we set uh, some color options and the way the image is actually processed uh, even the raw file so uh, set uh, your size is set and um, excuse me if that's a little bright to see some of these when they're not selected but this is where you can set four options of JPEG resolution so with these options I usually just set large uh, super fine a large fine I do um, like a middle super fine and a small fine and this is really for if I need to do a quick JPEG export um, I can make a size that I'm actually going to use versus uh, you know just all small JPEGs for example this you can leave even default it really makes no difference if you're not shooting JPEG or if you're not transferring uh, created JPEGs to your phone or an iPad for example pixel count um, this is determining what size your middle JPEG and small JPEG are you can uh, you have some different sizes I find 2560 on the long end for middle and 1280 is a good size for small that's just how I use JPEGs if I do use JPEGs and usually it's just sending a quick proof to somebody or transferring to my phone so I find those are pretty good trade-off sizes shading compensation I keep this on this will have the camera autocorrect for uh, a little bit of vignetting um, with certain lenses the camera does a great job of it it's designed for the lenses and I'd rather the camera do it than Lightroom when it comes to this. It just works, go with it. White balance, again, um, you're gonna, a lot of times you could be setting custom white balances if you need such fine adjustment, um, and no need to set it from in here. I use these um, all as defaults. If you know you want to adjust your daylight a specific amount, you can. This is a very, very fine adjustment, and if you don't have a way to measure this and calculate it and actually know your result, um, I'd avoid changing it because you're going to be shooting and not know why you're getting some funky white balance issues. Um, and again, if you're shooting on location or you're shooting in the studio, you're doing custom white balances, hopefully from gray cards or an expo disc. Um, you most likely will not be needing to do this kind of adjustment. Uh, your all white balance adjustment. Um, again, this is similar to the last option where you're adjusting um, for green or magenta in, in one direction or the other a little bit. I leave all this default. Uh, especially if you're shooting raw, you can always adjust after the fact and I find that a lot more accurate than me getting in here and trying to fiddle with fine tunings um, when my situations change all the time. If this was a dedicated studio camera that never left and always used the same light, I'd probably get in here and adjust these. But it's not, so I don't even bother. Um, keep warm color. This is an option you definitely should uh, keep off. If you keep it on, especially if you're shooting JPEGs, you're going to find some weird color tones in your images, especially when shooting people. People are going to look a little, little yellow, a little red, a little orange, um, and it'll, it's, it's just a little much. It's, it's not my preference. I keep that off. Flash uh, and white balance adjustment, I leave that on white balance auto. Again, especially if you're using off-camera flash, you've got to be making a custom white balance. Uh, at the scene. Even different lighting powers can adjust light color. Um, just do it right, do it the, the correct way at location uh, with a gray card, with an expo disc. Don't worry about these. Color space, I leave it on Adobe RGB. I do all my work in Adobe RGB and I like the camera to just have that ready for me uh, in RAW and then I develop um, in Lightroom in Adobe RGB space and I export to PSDs uh, to finish any kind of cleanup or adjustments in Photoshop as Adobe RGB and then I usually print from Adobe, Adobe RGB as well um, if you're just shooting JPEG and these are just for the web feel free to switch it to sRGB that's the color space that the web can display um, Adobe RGB is giving you the full color space